What is going on, everybody? Steven Freshy on the scene. And the new mini box just got announced in game. We have a new mini box coming out. I'm not sure when exactly yet, but it's called Force of Infinity. Mini box. Anguish, hopelessness, and pain give rise to a new power. And we got some, okay, okay, okay. Odd Eyes, Meteor Burst Dragon, Mechlord Astro. Me I don't know what any of these cards do, but we got Abyss Actor. We got Santa Claus. All right, let's read these cards. I'm just going to go over um, the Ultra Rares and the Super Rares and a few of the rares. I don't want to make the review too long. But yeah, if you haven't already, smash the like button, subscribe for more content. Also, if you want to follow me on Twitch so you don't miss out on my live streams and you can chat with me live, make sure you follow me on Twitch. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. But let's get into this. All right, first things first. We have Mechlord Astro Mechanical. Mechlord Astro Mechanical. It is a 12-star machine effect, 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense. Cannot be normal summon set. Must be special summon from your hand by sending three Mechlord monsters from your hand to the graveyard. Once per turn, you can target one Synchro monster your opponent controls. Equip that target to this card. This card gains attack equal to the combined attack of the monster equipped to it by this effect. Once per turn, during your standby phase, you can send one of the, these equipped monsters you control to the graveyard and inflict damage to your opponent equal to half that monster's original attack. You cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this effect. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, I know it sucks it, it only steals synchros, but a 4,000 special summon isn't bad at all. So it's ultra rare for a reason. All right, let's check out Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon. One tuner plus one or more non-tuner. So it's a generic level seven. 2,500 attack, 2,000 defense. When this card is special summoned, you can target one card in your pendulum zone. Special summon it. Also, this card cannot attack for the rest of this turn. You can only use this effect of Odd Eyes Meteor Burst once per turn. Monsters in your opponent's possession cannot activate their effects during the battle phase. Okay, okay, interesting. I wish it didn't have the restriction where it couldn't attack the turn you used its effect. But that's interesting. I like it. We'll have to we'll have to meme with this card a little bit whenever the box comes. Nice, nice. And we got Abyss Actors. Abyss Actor Superstar. Rank seven. Pendulum scale three. Once per turn, you can tribute one Abyss Actor monster, then target one Abyss Script spell card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Fiend, Pendulum Effect. When normal or special summoned, your opponent's spell and trap cards and effects cannot be activated. Once per turn, you could set one Abyss Script spell card directly from your deck, but it's sent to the graveyard during the end phase. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Next up, we got Orient Dragon, level six. One tuner, one or non-tuner. Generic, level six, Orient Dragon. 2,300 attack, 1,000 defense. One tuner plus one or more non-tuners. If this card is synchro summon, target one synchro monster your opponent controls, banish that target. Ah, uh, if only it wasn't just for synchros, it'd be good. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> The only, the only synchro monster in the meta is Cyber Slash, right? Like, I mean, you do play TGs, but when, when are you ever going to have the opportunity to, to banish one of their synchro monsters? Because they could just quick play synchro. So, I don't know, man. It's still spicy, I guess. But yeah, that's Orient Dragon. Mechlord Emperor Weisel. Synchro Absorption. Level 1. Machine. Effect. 2500 attack. 2500 defense. Cannot be normal summon set. Must be special summoned by its own effect. During your opponent's turn, quick effect. You can send one face-up Mechlord monster you control to the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand. You can only use this effect of Mechlord Emperor Weisel Synchro Absorption once per turn. If this card is special summoned, you can target one monster your opponent controls. It cannot attack for the rest of this turn. When a card or effect is activated, that would destroy a card on the field. Quick effect, you can tribute this card and negate the activation and you destroy it. That's pretty good! I see the plays. That's pretty good. 
That's pretty good. All right, I like it, man. All right, next up we got Mech Lord Army Deployer Obligado. It looks like Mech Lords are going to be a cogworthy deck, from what I see so far. Mech Lord Army Deployer Obligado, level four, 1200 attack, 1800 defense, machine effect. During your main phase, you can activate this effect. Destroy this card, and if you do, special summon two Mech Lord Army monsters from your deck in defense position. Except Mech Lord Army Deployer Obligado. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except machine monsters. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you could activate this effect. During the end phase of this turn, you can inflict 50 damage to your opponent for each Mech Lord monster you control. You can only use each effect of Mech Lord Army Deployer Obligado once per turn. That's pretty good, man. It's a one for two. During your main phase, you activate destroy this card, and if you do special summon two Mech Lord Army monsters from your deck, yeah, that's it's a plus one. It's a plus one, and it deals burn damage in the end phase. It's a plus one. It's not bad. It's not bad. But it's it's only machines, but there's, there's good machines. Noble Dragon Magician. Noble Dragon Magician. Level three. Pendulum scale five. Unless you have a Magician card in your other Pendulum Zone, destroy this card. Cannot be used as synchro material except the synchro summon of a dragon type synchro monster. If this card is used as synchro material, unless all all other synchro matar materials are odd eyes monsters, place this card on the bottom of the deck. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can target one level seven or higher odd eyes monster you control. Reduce this level by three, and if you do, special summon this card. Okay! Okay! Not bad. Not bad at all. This box is spicy, man. Big brain box, man. Abyss actor, Mellow Madonna. Abyss actor, Mellow Madonna. Level seven. Ooh, a zero scale. Oh, oh, oh. Is this the first zero scale in the game? Is this, this has to be the first zero scale. All right, let's see what it does. You could pay 1,000 life points Add one Abyss Actor, Pendulum Monster, from your deck to your hand, except Abyss Actor, Mellow Madonna. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn, except Abyss Actor, Pendulum Monsters, even if this card leaves the field. You can only use the effect of Abyss Actor, Mellow Madonna, once per turn. That's not bad. Pay a thousand life points to add an Abyss Actor, Pendulum Monster, from your deck to your hand, and it's a zero scale? Damn, Abyss Actors are looking good, man. Okay, let's see what it, what its monster effect is. Gains 100 attack for each Abyss script spell in your graveyard. You can only use each of the following effects of Abyss Actor Mellow Madonna once per turn. When a Pendulum Monster you control is destroyed by battle, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay. If an Abyss script spell card or effect is activated, you can special summon one level 4 or lower Abyss Actor Pendulum Monster from your deck, but return it turning to hand during the end phase. That's pretty busted. That's pretty busted. It searches and it's special summons from the deck. And it gets returned to the hand during the end phase, so you don't even minus. It doesn't get sent to the graveyard. It returns to the hand. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. More Abyss Actor support. We got Abyss Actor Wild Hope. Abyss Actor Wild Hope. Level 4. Scale 2. Once per turn, you can target one Abyss Actor card in your other Pendulum Zone. Its Pendulum Scale becomes 9 until the end of this turn. Also, you cannot special some monsters for this turn except Abyss Actor monsters, even if this card leaves the field. Monster Effect. Once per turn, you can make this card gain one under attack for each Abyss Actor monster you currently control with different names until the end of this turn. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can add one Abyss Actor card from your deck to your hand except Abyss Actor Wild Hope. You can only use this effect of Abyss Actor Wild Hope per turn. So if it's destroyed by battle or card effect, and it's a rank four that you could just set, and then they destroy it, it goes to your pendulum zone, you search, because it doesn't have to be destroyed and sent to the graveyard. It says if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect. So it goes to your pendulum scale, you search a scale, and then you can resummon him. Pretty good. 
And it's like it's like um it's like a heat hot or you'll send you um R where it changes the level of one of your other Abyss Actor Pendulum scales. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, I'm excited for the Abyss Actors and the Mech Lords. Two cogworthy decks out of this box. Right now it's kinda looking like Abyss Actors are gonna be better. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like we got a couple of cogworthy decks from this mini box. Alright, let's check out Dino Mist Rex. Oh, we got Dino Mist cards too. Dino Mist Rex. So we got three archetypes out of this new box. And it's a mini box. And you guys, we haven't had a busted mini box in a long time. Maybe this is the, the box to shake up the meta. Maybe this is the box to shake up the meta. We'll see. Dino Mist Rex. Level 5. Pendulum Scale 6. Once while this card is in your pendulum zone, you can negate an activated card effect that targets another Dynamis card you control, then destroy this card. Okay! That's not bad, alright. It's monster effect. If this card attacks at the end of the damage step, you contribute one other Dynamis monster, then activate one of these effects. This card can attack an opponent's monster again in a row, and if it attacks, the defense monster will inflict piercing around to your opponent, or shuffle one card from your opponent's hand at random, or their side of the field. Into the deck, this card gains one. Then this card gains 100 attack. Shuffle one card from your opponent's hand at random or their side of the field. It doesn't target. If this card attacks at the end of the damage step, you contribute one other Dino Mist monster to activate this effect. Shuffle a card from your opponent's hand or their side of the field. Broken card. Broken card. Nice. All right, we got Santa Claus. Santa Claus. I mean, look, look at look at Konami. It, it's Christmas in in what? It's Christmas in about 20 days, and they're bringing they're bringing us Santa Claus, guys. We finally got Santa Claus to the game. Level six, Fiend. Effect: 1,200 attack, 2,500 defense. You can special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's side of the field in defense position. By attributing one monster they control. If summoned this way, during the end phases of this turn, you can draw one card. That's fucking good! It doesn't take up your normal summon! All it does is allow your opponent to draw a card. But that's fucking good, dude! We got fucking Santa Claus in the game! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! We got Santa Claus! Who draws the card? Your, your opponent draws the card because you give the card to them. And then it says, during the end phase, you, you can draw one card. That'd be busted if you if, if you if you tribute it over their monster, gave it, and then it allowed you to draw. But nah, your opponent draws. But that's still busted, though. Santa Claus is OP. OP card. OP card. It's, it's probably boost stall decks, which is, I'm excited. But yeah, Santa Claus, man. Doesn't take up your normal summon. It just allows your opponent to draw a card. So it is a level six, though, but. It's a fiend, resonator. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it is a fiend. You can play it in resonators. All right, Mechlord Assembly. When this card is activated, you can add one Mechlord monster from your deck to your hand. You can only activate one Mechlord assembly per turn. You can only use each effect once per turn. Oh, it's a continuous. You discard one of the target one monster you control, destroy it. If a face up Mechlord monster you control is destroyed by battle card, but you can target one of the face up spell trap card on the field, destroy it. That's pretty good. It searches. Mechlords have, have a banishment. They got a search card. I mean, the continuous effect isn't that great. I mean, discard one card, then target one monster you control, destroy it. If a face-up Mechlord monster you control is destroyed by battle card, but you can target one other face-up spell trap card on the field, destroy it. One other face, so it can't destroy itself. Okay. It searches. It's good. Dynamis Charge. Continuous spell. When this card is activated, add one Dynamis Monster. Another! Another banishment for Dynamis. Continuous spell. When this card is activated, add a Dynamis Monster from your deck to your hand. Once per turn, if a Dynamis card slash cards 
is added from the field to your extra deck face up, add one of those cards to your hand. You can only activate one. That's broken. Damn, dude. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely, I have, I have like 10,000 gems on another account. I'm going all in on this box. I'm going all in on this box. This box looks busted. Let's check out some more of these Abyss Actors. Abyss Actor Evil Heal. Once per turn, you could tribute one Abyss Actor monster, then target one face-up monster your opponent controls. It loses attack equal to the original attack of the tributed monster until the end of this turn, if this card leaves the field. 3,000 attack. This card is normal or special summon. You could target one face-up monster your opponent controls. It loses 1,000 attack for each Abyss monster you currently control until the end of this turn. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you could target one Abyss Trip spell card in your grave or set that card. Nice. I want to see the um spell cards. I want to see the spell cards. The abyss spell cards. Abyss abyss prop, abyss script, abyss script. So these are saying abyss script. Let's check out the abyss script. <clears throat> Target face up cards on the field up to the number of attack position abyss actor monsters with different names you currently control. Destroy them. Non-targeting Target face-up cards on the field. It doesn't have to be monsters either. Oh my god, are abyss scripts are, are abyss actors gonna be meta? Target face-up on the cards on the field up to the number of attack positions abyss with different names you control, destroy them. If you control a level seven or higher abyss actor monster, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation. If this set card and its owners Control is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, and you have a face-up Abyss Actor Pendulum Monster in your extra deck. You could add up to two Abyss Actor cards and or Abyss Script spell cards with different names from your deck to your hand? How is this not an ultra rare? That's busted! Broken card! That's, that's why they made it a rare, so they could easily nerf it if it becomes problematic. Holy crap, that's busted. Let's see what Abyss Script Romantic Terror does. Abyss Script Romantic Terror, quick play spell. Return one Abyss Actor, Pendulum Monster. You control to the hand, and if you do special summon from your extra deck, in defense position, one face of Abyss Actor, Pendulum Monster with a different original name than that monster. If this set card in its owner's Control is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, and you have a face of Abyss Actor Pendulum Monster in your extra deck. You could set any number of Abyss Script spells directly from your deck. Holy crap! Cosmic Cyclone Stonks rise up! We're leaving the MST meta, and we're entering the Cosmic Cyclone meta. You got to play Cosmic Cyclone nowadays. You got Overflow. You got the Abyss Script spells. You do not want to destroy your opponent's back row these days. Cosmic Cyclone stonks rise up, guys. Because Abyss Scripts are going to be here. And they're going to be top tier. Alright, let's check out Abyss Prop Wild Wagon. Abyss Prop Wild Wagon. Continuous spell. Okay. The first time each Abyss Actor monster you control... Would be destroyed by battle each turn. It is not destroyed. Once per turn. You can target one Abyss Actor monster you control. Your opponent cannot target it with card effects until the end of their turn. Until the end of their turn. So you can go turn one against Harpies with this. You go turn one and then you target your monster. It can't be targeted until the end of your opponent's turn. Even if this card leaves the field. So even if even if they pop it with Harpy's Hunting Ground, they still can't target your monster. If this set card in its owner's control is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and you have a face of Abyss Actor, Pendulum Monster in your extra deck, you can return all cards your opponent controls to the hand? Oh my god, Abyss, uh, Abyss Actors are tier zero. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all these broken spell cards. Holy crap. 
What the hell, dude? Abyss Actors Tier 0. Okay, guys. If you haven't already, smash the like button. Subscribe for more content. Also, I'm going to be doing an Abyss Actor Climb to King of Games when the box drops. So if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure you follow me on Twitch. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to go over all the cards, but yeah. Abyss Actors look broken. Um, I can't wait. Let me see what what day they, they come out. When do they come out? Let me let me check real quick. Uh, they come out December 9th. So three days, three days. But yeah, you guys, that's gonna be my review. I'm Stephen Freshy, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.